Hey everyone, this is another part of a video tutorial for how to make a digital story um, using both Makey Makey and Scratch. Um, just before we begin, I do want to mention that this is low floor, the entry point, just so everyone uh, knows where to start. Um, but it can be uh, a lot more progressive and you can go um, in a fair amount of directions with this. Um, you can incorporate poetry and other different types of narratives. Uh, that you would like to write about, but this is just the one that I use for uh, the tutorial purpose. Um, before we go ahead any further as well, I have built in a digital story graphic organizer which will be posted as a resource that you can use. Um, now you will be able to use everything online, but there's a lot of merit in using um, paper and pencil. So in addition to all the technology, so I print this off and give it to my students to use. And again, this will be shared with you just so that they can actually make a story map in terms of conflict goal and go through everything here. Um, from that point, they also will have a storyboard template which they can use um, just to ensure that their storyboard is correct and uh, that it has everything that their story needs uh, in order to be successful. Um, the main part I wanna go through though is the scratch section and how to actually code this. So here is the final of what piece of what your um, story is going to look like. So you can see that the code is not difficult whatsoever at this point. You can progress beyond this, but I'm just gonna show you quickly how we do this. So I'm gonna open up a new tab. Uh, I'm just gonna go to Scratch and I'm going to go, so once you get to Scratch, you can sign in so your project are saved in the top right hand corner, but I'm gonna go to Create. When you open the create function, uh, your scratch page uh, should load. And what you wanna do first is you wanna go to the events option here. So when I click on the events page, you should see all these different um, brown orange uh, functions. And the ones that you really need uh, is the one that right here where it says one space, key pressed, and you're gonna need that. And the only other one you're gonna need is you go to the sound uh, option with the purple uh, color, select that, and take the play sound, uh, and then it has the option for meow. So what you're going to do here is, because Makey Makey has um, a few different options, I like to use spacebar and the arrows. Uh, that gives us five different entry points for how we can use it. So I'm gonna leave when space is pressed, but where it says play sound, I'm going to select this, and I'm gonna go to the record function, once I go to the record function, I'm just going to delete this one and I'm going to rename my recording and I like to name mine box one and why I name it box one is because it corresponds with our storyboard template that we have done over here and you can mark box one so that it makes it easier for the students or even if they have their visualization sheet, they can match that to it. Um, so now I have the option to actually record something. So whenever I want to record, I would just select this here. So I'm going to press it. I'm going to allow, testing, testing, one, two, three. I'm gonna stop it, and then I'm gonna go back to my scripts page, and now it's saving, and what I'm gonna do is instead of this option, I'm gonna click and hit box one. So now when I press space bar, testing, testing, one, two, three. And remember, that's gonna relate to your makey makey and how that's going to work later. So if I wanted to do this again, let's just go over it. So I'm gonna select my events, go to space, but now instead of hitting the space bar, I'm gonna select a different option. I'm gonna hit the up arrow. I'm gonna go back to sound. I'm gonna go play sound. And instead of box one, I'm gonna record. And I'm going testing, to testing, one, two, three. And I'm going to hit box two, enter box two. And then I'm gonna record something else. New test, new test. I'm gonna go back to my scripts page and I'm gonna select box two. You can continue to do this uh, to give yourself different entry points for your story. So I hope this helps um, and you can refer uh, back to the site for any additional questions or concerns. Thank you.